Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Capstick, and I'm going to talk to you about a module, a second year part two module called Literacy, Discourse and Power. This module runs weekly. It's across two hours. We meet for two hours every week and that two hours includes a lecture and a series of seminar activities. So we don't just have the lecture followed by seminar but we kind of mix those two different ways of working together. So there's a little bit of input from me, um, some, some of the theory of literacy practices, and then you have the opportunity to work together in small groups to apply some of the learning from that input that I've delivered. The aims of this module are firstly to provide students with an understanding of the different literacies that we draw on in our everyday lives and what that means is we look at how different kinds of reading and writing are taken up by different individuals and groups in society for different purposes so we look at classrooms and we look at schools but we also look at other settings where literacy happens the second aim is to enable students who take this module to, uh, to be able to apply some of the discourse analytic tools that they've developed in the autumn term module, discourse analysis, and um, to apply those tools and strategies for analysing discourse in these contexts of where, where literacy happens. So we look at dominant discourses around literacy, different kinds of literacy, and we look at the sorts of, in, of discourses that are drawn on to represent those different literacies. So what that means is we have an opportunity to explore power relations through different kinds of reading and writing and the different settings that that occurs in. And the third aim is to look and to identify how the literacy practices of young people and migrants can help us understand contemporary issues in the study of multilingualism and what that means is we look very broadly at the kinds of reading and writing that firstly young people do when they go on to social media or when they use uh, Snapchat or Facebook to read and to write in order to stay in touch with their friends and family um, and we also look at how migrants also take up opportunities to use so social media digital literacies and deploy their different multilingual resources in order to maintain social relations. Here's some of the key readings um, that we will be drawing on in this module. You can see language online, you can see situated literacies. So these are core texts that allow us to explore some of the theories um, through a series of different kinds of case studies. There's a, a core book there by me, work that I did in Pakistan and the UK, looking at how literacy travels when families travel, when people move around the world and start to use literacy in different contexts and different parts of their migration. The next text there is Making Literacy Real. So in the chapters in that book, we're looking specifically at things like critical literacy at school, um, as well as new literacies and multimodality. And then the final text is, a, is an advanced resource book, which gives you different kinds of support and different kinds of background reading, uh, which should allow you to then delve a little bit deeper into some of the theories that we cover in the lectures. The assessment for this module um, is, is carried out through four different pieces of assessment. The first is an oral presentation which you perform during the module, so about halfway through the term, you will present one key study in which um, a, an, a, an author or a, a team of researchers have carried out their own um, empirical data collection and looked at how literacy is used in one community setting and you will present that to your classmates. In the second of the assessment pieces, um, the, the, this is a series of three online tests which again occur in during the module when the module is running and they will be related to the reading that you've been doing for the module. The third is an essay 
uh, which you submit at the beginning of the summer term. So this is once the module's over, you've got a little bit of time during the Easter break to work on this, collect a little bit of data, um, analyze those data using some of the theories of literacy that we've been exploring, and then you submit that at the beginning of the summer term. And then the fourth assessment is an examination, a two-hour examination in the summer, where you're, there are two parts. You choose one question from the first part and one question from the second. So you answer two questions um, through an essay format. So just to recap a little bit, the module content for this module allows you to explore the reading and writing that occur in different contexts, different social, political and cultural contexts. But we also look at literacy as a cognitive skill, so reading and writing in the mind. We look at classrooms, we look at schools, we look at how teachers understand the teaching of literacy and how that's carried out in settings in the UK, but we also look at case studies from South Africa and what literacy means in some of the township schools. Um, we look at literacy and power and how different literacies have different power in different contexts depending on who's using them and for what purpose. As I said before, we look at the social aspect of literacy, how people use reading and writing online to build relationships, to maintain friendships, and also as part of their migrations. So we, we include multilingual literacies um, in that particular context. And we look a little bit at international development. So how literacy is now seen as a, as a way of measuring how socially and economically developed a particular country might be. So we look at the national level and we finish by looking at critical literacy. Um, these are approaches that go back to work uh, by Paolo Ferrere and how literacy can be a means of empowerment.